morning guys, Northstorm here and welcome to an episode of Overwatch. This time we are going to be talking about basically Season 1 competitive play ending and Season 2 starting off. So Season 1 will end August 17th, August 18th depending on your time zone and where you are around the world. Uh, so season 2 is currently scheduled to launch on September the 6th but they have said this could change uh, while they work on system improvements uh, so they'll share the exact date via Twitter and Facebook closer to the release. So the way uh, season 1 rewards work is if you had done your 10 match games and you ranked 50 and say you managed to get to 55 then you would get you'd be looking at between you'd basically get kind of 80 80 competitive points uh, for myself uh, when i done my 10 matches i ranked 58 uh, I'm now sitting at 51 I think so for 58 I will receive 120 competitive points what I'll do is I'll put the breakdown on here just now and you can have a wee look and see I'm staking my claim on the objective. so basically season 1 uh, unless you're in the top 500 players for your platform you'll receive the season 1 spray which is animated Otherwise, everyone will. Otherwise, you'll receive just the standard uh, spray icons uh, that you receive. Now, this is good news for basically everybody that's playing. It'll give you a chance to get golden runs for a character. Uh, so, for me, I think I'm sitting at 47 competitive points, and with the season one ending, I'll now be sitting at 161 or something like that. So I'm basically halfway to getting my golden, my golden points. Uh, so they are still looking at ways of improving. Obviously, they've improved competitive play where you can only select one of the same hero, which really helps. Uh, but yeah, th that is basically everything there. So what I'll do is I'll put the the competitive play uh, skill rating up. Uh, so like I said, if, if you ranked, say, 40 after your games, your 10 uh, initial games, and you ended up at rank 50, then you would get 60 competitive points. If you ranked 55, and at the end of the season you were 48, then it's your highest rank that you achieved throughout that season, so you would get points for 55. Uh, and that's it guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video, if you've got any comments please leave them down below. Uh, I am looking to maybe do a Reaper, basically a Reaper, a Diva and a Bastion kind of tips. I wouldn't say pro tips, uh, I don't know if level being ranked in the 58, 59, 60 is being pro. Uh, I am very good at the characters, uh, I know that before competitive in Europe, I was ranked like in the top 220 for Bastion. Reaper was ranked in the top 500, and uh, Diva. Uh, since the new update, I'm doing extremely well. I think my kill death ratio for Diva is just shy of a 4KD. Uh, so leave your comments down below. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you want to see on the channel in regards to Overwatch. And as always, guys, I shall catch you in the next video. See ya. Yeah, they were.